नमस्कार वी विल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट नक्षत्र स्वास्थ्य टुडे एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट वी विल डू अ मंत्र ऑफ गणेश गजाननम भूत गणादि देवितम कपित जम्बु फलसार भक्षणम ओमासुतम शोक विनाश कारणम नमामि विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकजम बिफोर वी स्टार्ट एनीथिंग वी प्रे ऑबिशिंग वी गिव ऑबिशिंग्स टू लॉर्ड गणेश for the successful completion of the work right the nakshatra that we have to deal today is swati swa ati swati or su ati is swati and the first thing that is with swati su means beautiful ati means too much beautiful things in plenty beautiful things in multiplicity swati is one of the nakshatras which can actually give you so many good options that you will become confused on what to choose and what not to choose that is what swati does multiple good options it is very beneficial the beneficence is that much that you have to choose one beneficial thing and have to leave multiple other things also swati is signified by coral munga so that is cylindrical swati is cylindrical cylindrical it indicates a chaos of multiple things as i told you is it indicates multiple options along with this it indicates a chaos of multiple things generally good you have seen a cylinder right so suppose you are in a cylinder and there are uh, you know multiple small balls in the cylinder and the cylinder is moving so what will happen you will go from one side to another side have have you saw a rat running on uh, something what is called a rat race rat running on a circle i will show you rat running in a wheel have you saw that this is what i mean to say this is swati the rat is running on a wheel and suppose that along with this rat there are multiple other things right so that is the story of swati a constant search or a constant fight or a constant desire it is the endless chain of karma endless chain of doing things endless chain of you no know, things happening so whatever thing is in swati is repeated and the search in the swati is endless the happiness that uh, one wants the desire that one wants to get in swati includes an endless running it indicates useless exertion useless fatigue even to achieve the smallest simplest thing there will be a whole lot of extra running to do that and that is because of that coral and coral as you know as you must be knowing is found in deep sea so swati is actually very emotional and the way for anything 
the way of fulfillment the way of satisfaction the way of desire or the way of achieving anything comes only after the person have gone considerably inside their own mind have considerably understood their own ideas getting my point swati if they don't look into themselves if they don't look at their emotional self if you if they don't uh, analyze their self if you if they don't question themselves it is very difficult for them to achieve something only after they question things only after they go inside themselves find the emotional cause behind the attachment related to anything only then they will be able to get the way to achieve the thing for which they are running right. coming to the mantra of swati the mantra is vayo nirashtya vritti parastada siddhir avastada vayo vayo nirashtya sud nakshatra is ruled by vayu and nirashti what is vayu indicate vayu indicates power and strength there are two vayu putras one is bhim and one is hanuman and both of them are known for their power in the council of gods also vayu is known for their power swati is very much capable swati is very powerful whichever planet is in swati that planet is very powerful that planet is very prominent if swati is in the ascendant then your personality is very powerful then your health is very powerful if the second lord is in swati then your wealth is very powerful out of out of the complete <clears throat> explanation of the nakshatras there are many points that you can use beneficially for any planet you just have to find that area and should start using it and i am very sure that you people will not face any difficulty in doing that right swati is very much capable swati is powerful and along with this swati also goes through a tussle of power both hanuman and bhima at a point of time lost their power or was struggling for the power that is what happens with swati whichever planet is in swati there will be a power tussle related to the planet there will be an authority challenge related to the planet there will be the problem of who is more authoritative or who is more capable related to the planet getting my point so if the seventh lord is in swati there can be a tussle between the wife and girlfriend if the second lord is in swati then there can be a tussle between your profession and the business of your father if the third lord is in swati there can be a tussle rivalry between the siblings if the fourth lord is in swati then person have many you know many options of settlement that he cannot you know decide where to settle so there is a power tussle there is a tussle for authority and generally whichever planet in this this authority also indicates that whichever planet is in swati at least two at least two people or at least two options will be there so if the 10th lord is in swati there are at least two jobs being offered simultaneously and you have to make a decision on which one is better for you and generally that decision is wrong if the planet is swati is afflicted if it is not then the choice is also right 
Swati also indicates strange things. So whichever planet is in Swati, strange things related to that planet happen. So like moon in Swati, the person foresees future event. Very strange, right? It, it doesn't happen with many people. Swati gives the tendency that something very uncommon is happening. Something which is very out of the box is happening with the planet. Whichever planet is in Swati. Strange things will happen related to the planet. Strange or in normal words, what do we say as supernormal. So Swati indicates strong things, Swati indicates supernatural things. Whichever planet is a Swati, strange and supernatural things related to the planet will happen. Along with this, Swati also indicates foreign things. Swati also have a foreign connection. Connection from the foreign lands, connection from the far lands. So the seventh lord in Swati, the wife can be from a foreign property. The tenth lord, uh, sorry, foreign land. The tenth lord in Swati, you may have to work in a foreign land. The fifth lord in Swati, your child may settle to a foreign land. Right? So Swati is connected to strange things, supernatural things, and things related to foreign countries. Things related to foreign land or things that is not known by the native beforehand. I always say the experience of Swati is always first hand. When it comes to Swati, you start experiencing everything first time, for the first time. Right? Swati also indicates spreading. Swati person wants to spread their ideas, wanted to spread their ideals, wanted to spread their thinking. The Swati person wants to spread. The Swati person have a motivation of spreading things, have a desire that his things should reach to maximum number of people. Regarding other planets, if the fifth lord in Swati, one will want to share their intellectual ideas. If the fourth lord in Swati, one will want to share their property with people, so can make hotels, dharmasalas, etc. If the third lord is in Swati, the person will do a type of business which will help other people get employed. The second lord in Swati, the person will be very much focused on increasing his family. He will produce many children. The sixth, the sixth lord in Swati, <clears throat> the person will try to share his struggle with the world, will try to tell his story to the world, it is spreading. And at the same time, I also give you an example how to how to you know like expand it to other houses as well. Just to spread it to the other houses is what I want. Activate your sati and spread the significations to the other houses. That is the best way to gain knowledge from my videos. Because you know, when the knowledge is small, when the knowledge is small, it can be easily illustrated for every house. When it is a big box of knowledge. You have to do the spreading. Right? Getting my point? Giving one rupee to 10,000 people is not a problem. Giving 10,000 rupees to 10,000 people is a problem, right? So, it, so what I'm giving you is a huge plethora of knowledge and you have to spread it for every house and for every planet accordingly. And when you are able to do that, you will get the maximum benefit from the videos. If you are not able to do that, then try, you will be able to do it. Nothing in this world is impossible as they say. Right? So Swati indicates spreading, Swati indicates extension. Swati does indicate taking knowledge from something. Taking Swati does indicate taking knowledge from an experience and applying it to different area. Yes, Vasanji, Vayu Devta is extension. Vayu expands. And along with Vayu, Swati can also come as a tornado and hurricane. That is the problem with Swati. Swati is a nakshatra 
which will you know swati is a nakshatra when it is angry when it is displeased when there is a malefic in swati then in the dasha and tardasha of that malefic it comes as a hurricane it comes as a turmoil and it will shatter all the everything made by the negative it will turn everything into ashes so malefic placed in swati beware it will throw everything upside down har ek cheez ko khak mein mila dega right <clears throat> why is very powerful you know what why you does 200 homes in an area one tornado comes and all the homes are just turned into dust this is what swati does to understand swati imagine that you are making a sand home on a beach a wave comes and there is no sand home this is what swati does the malefic in swati is terrible benefic in swati is very good how benefic in swati suppose you are sailing a boat and you want to go south and suddenly the air also starts flowing in the southern direction there is a benefit in swati so when air supports you it is good and the strong wind in swati is very bad the strong wind so weak wind in swati is okay you know for this particular reason with the strength of saturn rohini shakta bhedan is added so when saturn is very powerful he will cause drought for 30 40 years whereas when the sun is debilitated in swati chamatkar chintamani asks a question when do you like the sun in the month of april when he is exalted or in the month of october when he is debilitated so you know what i was uh, teaching astrology to someone personally and uh, <clears throat> he asked me the person asked me a question that sun is cruel so what does cruel mean what type of cruel sun is i told suppose the suppose you you voted a government you voted the current bjp government to be in power okay then the bjp government makes a decision that there is a lockdown and you cannot open you cannot travel in night and suppose you have a shop which only runs in the night time maximum business you get is in night time you elected a government and because of the decision of the government your business is not running and you cannot do to the government and the decision was not taken to hurt you it was taken for some type of betterment but that betterment is causing you displeasure that is the nature of a cruel planet so when any planet is strong in swati he becomes cruel like the cruel wind who doesn't care if your home is there or not the strong waves of wind are there to clean the trees and if you have become the person who have cut the trees and made your home there your home is in a problem so strong plan in swati is cruel his decision will be for the betterment of the world but that will hurt you whereas weak plan in swati indicates a weak government who will always want to pleasure you why government because swati is the definition of Sun and the exaltation of Saturn, both of them, right? Swati is from 
six degree forty minutes of Libra to twenty degrees of Libra, right? Sun maximum exaltation twenty degree Libra, Sun's maximum debilitation ten degree Libra, right? Both of them falls in Swati. You know, Swat means a blade that cuts through the grass. That cuts through the grass. So Swati is very much against adharmic behavior. Anything bad, anything inspired by bad karma. anything inspired by a bad emotion anything inspired by a bad thought anything inspired by your happiness and ignoring the happiness of the world swati will cut it into half so you do 100% hard work and 50% reward will be taken by swati if your work was not for the dharma if your work was not for the betterment of everyone because it is the exaltation of saturn the rise of democracy So whichever planet is in Swati, any karma you do related to that planet, make sure that that karma is for the betterment of the other person. Because if you think of your betterment, it will be a problem. For an example, suppose there is ninth lord in Swati, and you thought that. uh that i am doing job in uh, the city and my father lives in village so i have to go to my father three four times a year so let me make my father shift to city with me the... so in this decision you thought about yourself not about your father so what will happen your father will come to the city and he will fall ill so now rather than going three four two three times a year which caused you less problem now you have to sit with him for two months all together that will create more problems getting my point so in swati when you don't think of the other person when you think of only yourself then it creates a problem it cuts the thing into half 50% reward is taken by the vayu devta and he flies in the sky you cannot catch it if the god is running on earth you can catch it you can drive a car but he is flying you cannot right <clears throat> that is what swati does and when the plan you know in every nakshatra a strong planet will give accomplishment in swati a strong planet will give non accomplishment because that is the exaltation of saturn you know what saturn is vipreet saturn is opposite saturn is reverse so every planet when powerful they give good saturn when powerful gives bad every planet when weak give good result sorry when every planet when weak gives bad result saturn when weak gives very good result you check the horoscope of people with saturn debilitated you see they are thriving very well you see the horoscope of people with saturn exalted you will see they are not thriving very well every nakshatra when they have a strong planet gives you accomplishment swati gives you non accomplishment Swati wants you to rejoice in things that never happened and that can never happen. Swati wants you to satisfy rather than to run. Swati doesn't want you. Swati doesn't want you to be in destination. Swati doesn't want you. to become a mouse and run on a wheel swati wants you to break the chain and get satisfied then you cannot get that particular cheese that is on the wheel so that satisfaction is what swati endorses understood swati indicates failure and imperfection so for the case of swati you have to accept that things are imperfect and it have to be that particular way right so you know like if if your lagna is somewhere between uh, 6 degree 40 minutes to 20 degree then whichever house libra is falling swati will be activated in that house right 
Swati needs you to accept that imperfection. So suppose uh, you're ascendant in any sign, it's between six degree, 40 minutes to 20 degree, okay? So whichever house Libra falls for that particular house, Swati will be activated. So Chitra will not be activated, Vishakha also will not be activated. Swati will be activated. And suppose that falls in the ninth house, you are an Aquarius ascendant. So you have to realize that you cannot be, you know, like you cannot have good health and good money at the same point of time. So either you can have good health or you can have good money. Both the things don't come together. If it is in the 10th house, for Capricorn people, if the ascendant is between 16 degree, 40 minutes to 20 degree, they have to accept that either you have fame or you have money. Both the things don't come together. You ever see a Capricorn person. If they are rich, they are not famous. If they are famous, they are not rich. 80% of the famous superstars that you see in the news, going on a rented car, having nothing, this much loan on the person, all Capricorn activity. All Capricorn Ascendant, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Deacon, etc. So Swati wants you to accept that everything is not perfect and you cannot get everything. That's why the balance of Libra, right? Because it has only two, two, two plates, right? So you can only balance two things. You cannot balance everything. It is only two things, right? And all the Libra is told the balance, but it is not perfectly balanced. One thing will be lacking and one thing will be too much. And that is what Swati does. It wasn't it. Sir, if it is in fifth house, you can have education, but you can't have speculation. Yes. Yeah. Divide it. <laughs> Fifth, fifth house Chitra or fifth, uh, sorry, fifth house Swati or fifth third in Swati, I have seen one of the best teacher of stock market who lost lots of money in the stock market. Best teacher of stock market but cannot do stock market. It's many people, right? The astrologers having, you know, like uh, Swati activated. Very good teacher cannot predict. Very good predictor cannot teach. Balance is not there. Right. So, you know, there are a few deities which are not worshipped actually, not worshipped much. Why is not worshipped much? Why? Because you don't want him to be very happy on you. You just want him to be okay, okay, happy. And not too much. Right? You don't want a negative deity to come to your home, right? In, in uh, Tantra acceptor things. Uh, many deities are told to be worshipped on, on, you know, out of the home. They are never advised to worship in home. You don't want the energies of Kali to come to your home and sit. The worship of Kali has to be done somewhere outside. You should understand that Kali is the great mother and she is very benevolent and everything. But you don't want her to sit in your home. Right? Like policemen, you may want that, yet you know, you should have a like a relation, you should have friendship with two, three policemen. But you will not want two, three policemen coming and sitting at your dining table. You will not want. Dur se namaste. Okay. Fine. Hello, hi. Very good. Not more than that. That is what goes with Swati. You should understand. The few things are to be kept outside. Few things are to be kept inside. Swati people, they search for love and marriage. No, no. You either get love or you either get marriage. Both things you don't get. So that tussle is Swati. Both things you cannot have together. A human have one mouth, you can eat one thing at a one. Either sarus gulla, either sa puri dal ega tohan jayega bhai. Ek mood na, do mood thode na. This, this should be understood. There are two years you can listen to both positive and negative. But eat you can only one. You cannot eat both the things. Right? That is something that is indicated by the imperfection. 
right? Okay. Yeah. So you know that there was something that I was teaching yesterday in the Blanchard prediction course. See, there was a question, right? You know, like two, three years ago, someone asked me on Facebook, in a Facebook group. So why you are born in a particular ascendant? It's quite a question. So you have a heap of karma, a heap of karma. And I laugh on those people who come to me and they're like, sir, how can I get salvation in this life? No, my friend, no. The heap of karma is like 1000 Mount Everest. So there is prarabdha, there is kriyaman, there is sanchit. Sanchit karma is way too many. Sanchit karma is a whole lot of karma. Prarabdha is that part of sanchit karma that you are supposed to face in this particular life. That is prarabdha. So you have like, you know, in 1000 lifetimes, you have married 1000 women. And out of that 1,000 women, leaving 999 women aside, the karma that you did with one lady, you have to pay back in this life. This is only the karma with that one lady. The other 999 lady are just waiting for their turn to come in the next life. Then in that life also you will do some karma. So the number 1000 is never becoming 999. It is always remaining 1000 only. Right? So you know what? There is a circle of karma. There is a heap of karma. And when a creation ends, you go back to Narayan. When a creation ends, you go back to Narayan. And you are saved from that heap of karma. But when new creation comes, you are just thrown into that heap of karma. And it is so large and so huge that you will never be able to skip it. This is something that you should understand. You know, last since last seven, eight months, I have been searching answer for one question. What is the right karma that I should do? What is the right karma that should be done? If I do this karma, am I hurting someone? If I do this karma, am I, am I doing bad with someone? I kept on searching answer for this particular question since very long and I had an answer to it that I have given to someone before but I forgot my own answer. So since last eight, nine months I have been searching this answer and you know what answer came in front of me? That there is no right or wrong karma. There is no right or wrong karma. There is no correct karma. There is not a karma, there's, there's nothing such as a good karma or a bad karma or a right karma or a wrong karma. There's nothing as such. It is just a karma. So, you know, when people ask me, sir, what is, uh, you know, like what I can do to uh, get salvation, etc. That is not a very good question. That is not a very good question. That is something that cannot be achieved. So now, thing is, the particular thing is why you are born into an ascendant. See, any answer, I give a very elaborate and very detailed answer. Because I want you to understand the philosophy. You can go behind a course which quickly teaches you prediction. You can go for a course which quickly teaches you prediction. And after completing the course, you will repent why you took admission in that course. Because it teaches you prediction, but that prediction, my friend, is not important at all. What is important is the understanding of Jyotish so that you can change your lives and the lives of others. Understanding is important. That is the difference between a teacher and a guru. The understanding. Getting my point? Okay. Now, coming to topic. Why you are born in an ascendant? Because for every ascendant, few things are fixed. What will be the first house fixed? 
what will be the second house picks right so second house will will have a lord second house will have a rashi that rashi will have a image that rashi will have a lord there will be a signification of that rashi etc etc right so suppose you have done one such karma you have done one such karma where you should get either constant support from your family or constant no support from your family okay suppose you have done one such karma where you where it is required that you should have constant support or constant no support from the family how it will be achieved it will be achieved by you being born in movable ascendant because then second house will be fixed so the support from the family is fixed or support from the family is not fixed right okay but now what type of support in the case of fixed sign there can be a fixed sign of venus so that constant support or constant lack of support should if it should come from female members then you should born in aries lagna or you should born in capricorn lagna or if that constant support or lack of support is to come from a male member of the family then you should be born in either a cancer lagna or a libra lagna so there are preset conditions right out of thousand of karmas that you have done in the previous life one karma or two karma or three karma you are supposed to face in this life and to face that particular karma you have to go in a preset condition if the karma for this life is to struggle for money that gives a preset condition that you should be born into a poor family and to for you to born in a poor family the second house should have a like you know a particular set of combination and that particular set of combination can only happen in a particular set of ascendant right so that preset of karma so you know i, I told the story yesterday also i will repeat the story once again then we will continue with the discussion the swat with the swat discussion that we were doing and i think the knowledge that i am right now giving you is very important it is even more important than to learning a technique this technique you learn at any point of time but the understanding is difficult so when ravana was there all the gods went to vishnu and they told that oh vishnu you take an avatar and vishnu told no no it is not the right time so vishnu was first of all waiting for the sun to become exalted then vishnu was waiting for the moon to go in cancer then vishnu was waiting for the capricorn lagna to come then vishnu took the avatar because only in that scenario it will make a preset condition like vishnu waited for the saturn to become exalted and he had to lose his wife in the exile because vishnu had a curse so once ravan uh, once narad wanted to marry a lady and he went to vishnu and he told vishnu you give me your face for my marriage to happen vishnu smiled at him and told kalyan kalyan means good will happen with you kalyan doesn't mean whatever you want will happen with you kalyan means good will happen with you so vishnu did that narad went to the marriage when the princess saw narad she started laughing so narad went in rage and he saw his face and he found out that my face is turned into a monkey so narad called vishnu that the next time you will take birth on earth your wife will be stolen and monkeys will help you rescue it so that had to happen and for that to happen vishnu had to wait for saturn to become exalted then he had to wait for saturn to become the seventh lord 
Now Saturn can become the seventh lord in both the Cancer Lagna and the Leo Lagna, but he had to lose his wife in forest. So losing in forest will only become when Saturn is exalted in the fourth house. When Saturn is exalted in the fourth house, and Saturn can become exalted in the fourth house in only the Cancer ascendant. So Vishnu has to choose Cancer ascendant, right? Preset. Your soul have a karma, and that karma can only manifest in under a particular situation, and that particular situation is a preset. So when you are born in a particular nakshatra, when you are born in a particular rashi, when you are born in anything particular, you are born because of that preset. You are born because of that preset. Getting my point? That preset. So when you are born in Swati, that preset of you are not going to get everything is there. That preset is necessary. Understood? I'm pretty sure you did. Right? Vayu is the Lord of Swati. And I have explained almost everything that is there within the in the story of Vayu. Right. Yeah. Like, so there are two, three things uh, that are new in the story that I haven't already explained. Generally, my understanding of shlokas is that extensive that I don't need to refer the stories generally. Because when I explain the meaning of a particular word, the stories are covered automatically. Because the words are chosen and written keeping that particular fact in mind. But still, if one to extra significations come that I'm explaining, why you mean something which is constantly on move. So Swati. Swati have a tendency that things happen quickly to be. Things happen very quickly. There's no control. Over things. Things happen quickly. Things happen speedily. For Swati, like if, if the fifth lord is in Swati, then events related to child, events related to fifth house happen in succession. One after another, one after another, one after another. There is very less time for you to actually prepare for the happening. There is very less time. For you to prepare for the happening, there is very less time for you to become ready. Getting a point? Things happen quickly, quickly. Seven Lord in Swati, one relationship ends, new starts, one relationship ends, new start. And there is very less time to get the lesson that the previous event wanted to teach you. Right? And Swati have the duty because it is Vayu's duty to make sure that Somaras is being supplied to Indra. That is Vayu's duty. So Swati's duty is to make sure that necessary things are being fulfilled to his family members, necessary things are being fulfilled to his friends and others. That is the duty of Swati. It is Swati's duty to take care of things, right? And Vayu is known to employ people, right? So generally Swati people help others Realize their true potential. Swati people help others to find their soulmate, to find their motivation, etc. Swati people can work very well in the positions of HR where they have to employ people, etc. Right? 
So this much related to the stories. I will give you three remedies for swati. Then we will go to the result of different padas for swati. Right? So I came 15 minutes late. Okay. So, but there is a symbology of Swati being associated with formation of pearl. I posted in the group also. Mm -hmm. so I don't know whether you covered that or not. Uh, we we take that Swati is coral. It's cylindrical in shape. Swati indicates something cylindrical in shape. So I was like the. Term of events are very fast and it is mixed with multiple multiple things. It is mixed with multiple options. So it is more or less like, you know, like uh, the person is in his school life, his bachelor and searching for a girlfriend. And then he goes to college and then he seeing four women hunting behind him. Now he is all in a power tussle where to go, where not to go. This is what happens. We have covered that. Sometimes it is taken as the formation of pearl. The text that I was referring, Shardul Karnavada, tells it is Munga. So that is like uh, dependent on which text is there. I was, for the uh, signification of Nakshatra, I am using Shardul Karnavada, that is the text. I, I think I should not tell it in the recording, but uh, if anyone has the guts to copy, please do. I will be very happy to see that someone has guts nowadays. This uh, the this thing is written in many classics that uh, uh, in the Swati Nakshatra when rain falls in the coral open oyster, it is written in Chanakya. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this particular fact we haven't covered. Yeah, yeah. The rain of Swati makes the pearl. Yeah. The symbology of Swati that is coral. Yeah, this thing is there. The rain in Swati is responsible for the formation of a pearl. Mm. That is just an indicative of the might, might of Swati. Like how powerful the Swati is. The might of Swati, the power of Swati. You know, the, this particular thing is there, the Swati person is very mighty, very powerful. Even the smallest thing done by a Swati person can disturb the big structure as well. Or whichever planet is in Swati, you have to play the role of a very key person in that particular area. So like if there's Venus in Swati, then your understanding of the relationships, you should share for sure. Because that will be a, what? That will be a path changer research. That, that kind of thing is indicated by Swati. Like, you know, a mistake, a small mistake made by a Swati implies, suppose that this Swati guy is a Chaparasi, the Swati guy is a pure. And there's a meeting going to happen between two officials of the company. Then because this pune comes a bit late, and because it comes late, you know, it is there is a delay in serving tea to the people, the pact will get cancelled. That is a very small thing, I think. That is a very small thing. If the tea is being given five minutes or ten minutes late. But because it is the Swati person, he has such a might that he can achieve such feet. And that is what happens in Swati. It's very mighty. And generally, when you have any planet in Swati, your idea and your experiences related to that planet, you should always share by writing a book or by making videos, etc. Because that is what is needed. Your thought, your ideas, your research will be a path changer, path breaker. Shomji, if Lagna is in Lagna, what do you think about Lagna? What do you think about Lagna? What do you think about Lagna? Lagna means everything. Again, Lagna's signification is also important to study Lagna. No, no. First step. Right. Coming to the... Oh, I'm sorry. So, what... Uh, like... 
the the previous nakshatra chitra nakshatra you said chitra nakshatra is pearl but pearl formation happens in swati so i don't know but whether it gives some clue to the interpretation of you know how nakshatra themselves are to be interpreted actually everything in astrology amar khan ji goes in a reverse order so there was age of pisces after this there is an age of aquarius after this there will be an age of capricorn so houses are 1 2 3 4 in the anti clockwise order but sun goes from the first house to the 12th house to the 11th house so the creation or the path is anti clockwise so the path is clockwise but the horoscope is rotated anti clockwise right so that is a particular thing that's why it is happening in reverse i getting my point so this is something this is a very crucial thing so this is something that i was noticing when i said the saturn is vipreet everything is direct but here it is reverse so that is what is supposed to happen see in january there will be makar sankranti that starts with capricorn So things are like quite reversed. This is this is a like quite a important thing that we should do discuss. Mm. And uh, the in the sky, the nakshatra of Swati, I get it is a single star. The star is the, in Swati. There is a. It is a single star. I read. I will refer you just a second. Yes, what is a single star? So, how do we interpret? The stars, uh, we have a dasha on them. The number of stars is equal to the number of dasha that are there. Based on the number of stars, we assign a particular number of year or a particular number of like activation time that is possible. So, if, when when Swat is having one, uh, like, like of the recording, I should say. right so uh, we will go with three remedies for swati swati remedy number 1 vayu as i told you there are two manifestations of vayu one is hanuman and one is bhim bhim is not worship hanuman is worship So worshiping Hanuman is recommended for Hindu people. Swati. You can worship Hanuman using multiple ways. Worshiping Hanuman in a Shiva temple is even more, even better. Right? This is the concept. If you take the name of Rama in a Shiva temple, or if you take the name of Shiva in a Rama temple, then God looks at you. Who is this guy? So that I was talking to a pundit, and the pundit, the pundit ji was telling me that Shiva, Shiva, the like Shiva told Parvati, Parvati asked Shiva that you are meditating always, whom you are meditating on. So Shiva said, I am meditating on Rama. So then pundit ji said that Shiva is always meditating, and when you go to the temple of Shiva and you start taking the name of Rama, Shiva opens one of his eyes. And he's like, who is this guy who's taking name of my Ishta in my temple? And same happens when you go to Ram temple. So Rama worships Shiva at what? Tamil Nadu, Rameshwaram. So when you go to the temple of Rama and take the name of Shiva, Rama is like, no, oh, who is this guy? So just a quick thing, where to worship Hanuman? Right. The first thing. Secondly, related to Swati, related to Vayu, Diya, Deepak, or lighting a lamp is a very essential remedy for Swati as well. Lighting a lamp twice a day, once when you do the morning puja and once when you do the evening puja is very essential, very compulsory to remedy Swati. Lighting a lamp twice. Now, based on the planet, whichever planet you want to remedy, you can change the oil. Based on that particular planet. So, if you want to remedy planets, the Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Moon, use the clarified butter. If you want to remedy Venus, Mercury, Saturn, use oil. 
to light the lamp. If you want to remedy benefits, uh, Mercury, Moon, Jupiter, Sun, Jupiter, uh, Jupiter, Venus, then choose a dia where the where the light when the bati will where the light will be in the middle, right? Uh, Yes. Oh, Deepak, sir. Sir, this one. Yes, this one. For benefit planets, choose this one. The one that was on this one. Right? For uh, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Moon. And for malefic planets, use the long one that, that is on one side of the deeper. So for Sun, Mars, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, we use that type of the thing. It's just a bit of vibration that is based on a geometry. This is why I'm saying this. If you know mantras of deities and deities and light, uh, if, if you are well versed with mantras, etc., then you need not bother. Otherwise, you can bother. Lighting a dia every day is one of the most recommended things for uh, Swati, is what I will say as the second remedy. And the third remedy for Swati. The third remedy for Swati is to take some sand of a holy place. Take some sand of a holy place and keep it in an earthen pot in the western side of your home, room, whatever is feasible. Okay. Now coming to the different Padas of Swati. The third Pada of Swati will be, sorry, the first Pada of Swati will be Libra Rashi and Sagittarius Navamsha. The person will be very much dharmic in his marriage. Very much devoted to their spouse. The spouse will be intelligent, learned, humble, given to a bit corpulence, a bit fat the spouse. Right? The spouse will uh, will start early, start earning early in life. The person will be dharmic, devoted, will be in worship, etc. The person will be beautiful, knowledgeable will achieve good position and good status in his profession. The person will be liked by all, he will be attractive and he will generally be interested in things such as astrology, Ayurveda or allied Indian science. For the first part of Swati, right? The health is generally good. The person is timid, not able to take uh, very strong decisions, generally in a job, right? Uh, the person has many enemies, but is not troubled by diseases much. Like his children may leave him, or there will be strong differences between the children and the parent. Yeah, and uh, the person will lose many things in life on account of that this is not right for me, this is not right for you. Kind of a thinking. Because of taking this particular thing, he will lose multiple things in life. He will generally be fair in complexion. He will have a face resembling a horse so with prominent nose and a big elongated mouth. Right? He will be thin bodied, will be famous, will have long hair, curly hair, will have a prominent nose, and will have beautiful legs. For the Swati first Pada. Right? Swati second Pada will be. Libra Rashi and Capricorn Navamsha. So one false allegation will be there on the native 
can get married late. If doesn't get married late, then marital life is a hell. The wife is I the spouse is either diseased or disinterested. The spouse will not be able to fulfill his duties as a spouse. And at the same point of time, the native himself will also being discouraged by the nature of the spouse, will also not try to participate much in the matter life. Saving money will be a problem. Properties can be an issue. If the person gets ancestral property, then he is not rich. If he is rich, then he doesn't get ancestral property. One of the things only happen. Both the things doesn't happen together. Along with this, the person is devoted to his work. The person is uh, generally working in a high position in a job. They have uh, maximum number of female children. They have neither enemies nor diseases. The bodily, the bodily complexion is beautiful, but not very fair. And uh, the native is generally given to do bad deeds or do rajasik karma. He first thinks of his own benefit, then he does anything. It's a very much self-centered. Right, the person will have weak hands, he will be timid, he will have ill-formed teeth, like I have, and he will have a weak body, and he will, his eyes will be very unstable, he will sometimes keep on looking here, sometimes keep on looking there, type of personality. Right, he will have small nails, dark in complexion, and he will be devoid of virtues. As I told you, he will always be focused on to do something that gives him enjoyment. Devoid of virtues, and he will generally be miserable. Okay. So that was for the fourth Navamsha. The fifth Navamsha of Pati uh, will be a Libra sign and Aquarius Navamsha. The person is intellectual, learned, have new ideas, bad relationships with children, generally suffers on account of children, his own ideas, his own thoughts, which are very good to look at, never help him. There is a very big transformation in his thinking around 40s. His own ideas, you know, it, it, it is a person whose knowledge is not able to save him much. Is not able to save him from many miseries of life. The native is generally uh, beautiful to look at. Right? And uh, he's famous, will have very majestic looks, will be very attractive. There will be many women around him or many people of opposite gender around him. Right? The person will be very firm in disposition. Whatever he thinks, once he will be able to do it, the person will have both the qualities. When he wants to be cruel, he can become cruel. When he wants to be soft, he can become soft. He is someone who is well versed in almost every part of life. He is someone who is very well versed in almost everything. He know how to politically handle something. He know how to emotionally handle something. He know almost everything. Right? The person is very humble, down to earth, he is not very proud. Sometimes he is cheated by people because he don't, you know, he don't uh, strongly say that this is my thing. Because he keeps quiet, he is generally cheated by people also. Right? And uh, his hairs are very coarse. His hairs are very rough. Generally, he is blessed by hair and uh, have a very hairy body, etc. Hairy body also indicates someone who will remain poor throughout life or generally will face financial hardships. The family member don't support him and at the, even at the very early age, he is like, you know, overburdened by multiple responsibilities in life, right? 
his both his eyes will not be of the same dimension one of the eye will be some up or some down kind of a scenario right and uh, he will have a very beautiful nose he will be proud but not egoistic right and the swati fourth pada will be libra rashi and pisces navamsha the person is beautiful brilliant beautiful by face beautiful by body beautiful by heart always highly focused on doing good karma supports other supports people supports their subordinates right beautiful rich wealthy supported by all loved by all but have very strong enemies suffers on the account of disease as well as suffers from enemies his enemies although he have very few enemies but even those few enemies are very strong and highly determined to go against him enemies create problem in almost everything this person will face a strong enmity a strong enmity as in that even if he wants to get married there will be people who will try to spread false rumor against him so that he doesn't get married so a strong opposition and health problems will be there with the person the person is supposed to gain money as his age increases and if he takes any loan to support him financially that loan will be very bad for this person and he will repent why he took a loan all right along with this the person have uh, fleshy limbs like quite fat and uh, say kind of a person having good amount of money and good amount of support many people like him he is fair in complexion he will have broad eyes a beautiful nose white nails which indicates internal weakness hereditary diseases also right he will be diplomatic learned in shastras is spiritualist well learned well read but generally will be very timid uh, and will not be able to showcase his learning will not be able to use his knowledge for his advancement all theoretical knowledge and lacks practical knowledge and uh, harsh experiences of life teaches him how to use that knowledge practically as well by the end of the life right and that's all. from my side and if you just understand the things that i have told you you can make even more more and more predictions but to make more more and more predictions you should have to understand what i have told throughout this 1 hour 25 minutes and if you cannot understand consultation option is always open let me understand it for you any question or can ji like here uh, the last pada is uh... the rashi lord is exalted in namsha mm-hmm. so but uh, previous two pada matlab second pada and third pada the namsha lord is exalted in rashi but but the result is bad namsha uh-huh. lord exalted in rashi namsha luck namsha lord exalted in rashi good luck coming over you lagna lord exalted in namsha you run for good luck this should be the case but uh, exaltation debilitation principle is something that i am not considering as of now because that will depend on the planet of course so suppose there is mars is situated in this uh, swati third swati third pada then mars is detrimental for venus as well as detrimental for saturn so the result for namsha lord exalted in the rashi should not be is this something that i am not telling so i am not i am just considering the friendship enmity between the rashi lord and the namsha lord because that will create the that will create the place for the planet who is situated there that will create the place for the planet who is situated there the friendship sorry. enmity between the rashi lord and the namsha lord for it the six side relation uh, sorry it is six side relation yeah it is six side relation it is six side uh it is some somewhere it is read that uh the significance of a planet being situated in navamsha office office adhimitra mm-hmm. 
so what is the significance uh, mitra natural friendship versus you know functional friendship so that is just to uh, you know like functional friendship is just an added added point that is to judge if the planet is being very very powerful you know like friend normal friend also temporary friend will become adhi mitra very good friend so the good result will be even more good natural enemy even temporal enemy so the result will become very bad or neutral so a uh, functional friendship is just a type of analysis which enhances the good or bad result kind of enhances for the case of that particular person so the concept is that mars and uh, saturn are enemies but not for everyone for some people they should not be that bad as they are for everyone so if they are that bad or not that bad that is decided based on the temporal friendship so that's why temporal friendship doesn't decide mitra or satru that only decides adhi mitra or adhi satru that is a that is a basic thing this particular point our kanji uh, rashi lord exalted in navamsha navamsha lord exalted in rashi we should consider when uh, we are uh, uh, when you are when we are reading about the result of separate planet in different pada of different nakshatras so maybe in like you know like uh, yeah. so if like mercury is in uh, chitra third pada So Mercury is in Libra sign, Aquarius Navamsha. That is in the friendly sign, friendly Navamsha. So the result is very, very good, brilliant, excellent. But what result will be brilliant, excellent? I cannot take only the significations of Mercury. I should also take the house lordship of Mercury. So for that case, you know, we should do something like, uh, you know, uh, result of different planets in Aries first pada for different lagnas. It's something that needs to be done. So what I generally do is I have told the principle. and we expect that the person itself applies it so because if there is mars in uh, chitra third pada then it is an enemical sign enemical navamsha so the result have to be bad now not only the result will be bad related to blood or courage etc because see the result being bad for the courage doesn't make a prediction you are not courageous what prediction it is so real prediction will be that mars is the 10th lord and you have to suffer in your profession in this particular dashantar dasha you have to suffer in your profession because of mars so for that you have to consider house lordships also so that particular area that small area i leave on the discrimination of the people to do right rejate the early video mein bolo right we we'll continue with the next video and tomorrow i will like the uh, tell it in the group so thank you for the class we will meet in the next nakshatra video thank you